Hi guys, today's knot we're going to look at the double wool knot and this is a way you can finish off your round crown key fobs. To tie this one I'm going to take one of my strands and I'm just going to take it underneath the strand next to it and you should find that it comes out parallel to its own coloured strand on the opposite side. I just want to rotate my work around. I'm going to take the next strand across and I'm going to take it underneath both of those two strands. And it should also come out parallel to its own colour on the opposite side of the knot. I can rotate my work around again and I'll take the next strand across and I'll take it underneath both strands and it should also come out parallel to its own coloured strand except for this one has already gone around so we'll take the next strand across and we'll come in underneath both of those strands but it's going to come up through that loop and then I can just draw this knot together and that is a single wall knot and then to tie the double we'll again just pick a strand and then follow its own colour around the knot until it comes up through a loop and then push it through that loop then we'll take our next strand across and we'll follow its own colour around the knot until it comes out of a loop and then we'll push it through that loop then we'll take our next strand across and you'll find that you have two strands here so you've got to make sure you get the right one so you can test this one's already gone through and this one is coming directly out of this crown here so that's the one we want to use. We'll follow its colour around until it comes out of a loop and then we'll push it through that loop. And then we'll have one more strand to go. Again we will identify which strand we want. This is the strand that's coming directly out of the crown so that's the one we want and we'll follow its colour around here all the way around and it's going to come up through two loops this time so push it up through both of those loops and we should have our completed knot and now we just gently want to draw this knot together and as we do that we want our strand to come in underneath the first wall knot. So this one went underneath and this one we want underneath this one. So just draw in a little bit. Go around. This one is underneath and that one is also underneath. So go around the knot and draw in bit by bit. So now we have a couple of options. We can either tighten the knot like this with our crown exposed and it will look like this from the side. It's quite chunky. Or as we tighten it up we can push our wall knot upwards. So if I do that now we can push it all the way up and as we tighten this It will make the knot quite a bit narrower. So I'll tighten this one up. And so you'll end up looking more like this. And you can cut the edges off here now and finish off your fob, or you can tie another crown knot by coming in over. 
the adjacent strands. Tighten that up. And you would end up finishing up like this. Or you could continue crowning along and then this would become an ornament in the middle of your fob. So I quite like the chunkier version where you don't push the walnut up to the top and you can cut and singe the ends off as they are or if you have a lacing needle you can even bring these strands down again and then tuck the free ends through the crowning here. So here's an example of the walnut tied in the middle of a fob where I've just continued crowning above it and here's the one I just tied and I've just cut and singed the ends. Please share this video because that allows me to keep creating content for you guys and I will see you in the next video.